In this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to install a wrap nosing onto a winding step, how to deal with the angles and to get the closest fit possible. The first thing we need to do is to actually get the inlay set into the nosing, allowing that to, to cool while we do the measurements and get everything set to size. So to measure the length required, if I take a tape measure and run that along the front of that nose, firstly I can't get it right into that far corner so the measurement's not going to be accurate. I'm also measuring for the front of this nose. Is what I have to do is mark that and then transfer that to the top edge, whatever angle I'm working to needs to be. I'm just using an off cut of the nosing. I can place that into position and draw along this back edge and that will give me the point where I need to measure across. Use your cut nosing, making sure you've got the leg at the top, that's the part that sits on the tread. I'm going to bring that down to that edge, making sure it's nice and square. And I'm going to draw a line along that back edge, just there. Take small straight edge, continue that up to the far corner and then I'm going to bring it this side of the line just so it sits on top of the line and then just draw another mark up there. Now I've got the back edge of my nose marked on there I need to work out what these angles are I can use a digital angle finder, take the nose in, and that'll tell me what that angle is there. So that's reading 44.8, so it's a 45 degree angle. I can actually do the same this side. and that's working out actually at a 22 and a half degree angle. I can also take a carpenter's sliding bezel for this. I can do the same with this one. And that'll give me that angle. And that's all I need to do is get that onto the chop saw, either set it to, to there or the fixed points on the actual tool itself. The way I found the best to mark these up, Again, just by using a piece of LVT, just a bit of off cut. And so what I'm going to do is angle this edge, no specific angle. Bring that down to that point. So what I want to do is just roughly measure that first. Take a bit of waste off. I'm going to mark that onto the LVT itself. Cut that back on an angle. And just by marking that, you can see there that that's dropped into position. Now that I've got my scrap bit of LVT cut to the size required, I take the nose in, making sure that the upstand is facing away from me. That's the top edge. Then I can take the LVT, place it up, just roughly. I'm going to get some masking tape in place, allow me to mark the nose in itself. mark up using the LVT. 
when it comes to the chop saw, I'm going to be working left handed on this one. So as I'm right handed, I want to flip it over. So that's what I'm going to do is then transfer that mark to the other side. Again, a little mark on there to show you which way that mitre needs to go. And when it comes to cutting on the chop saw, I'm going to be in a more comfortable position holding that way and coming down with the saw itself. Now that the nosing has been cut, we can see that the inlay has been cut perfectly with the nose itself on both ends. When we bring it up to the step, you can see there it's given it an almost exact fit. So the next stage is we need to take this inlay out. And as you can see, it's been allowed to cool now and it's actually preformed to pretty much the shape of that nose. So when it comes to installing these, it is a belt and braces approach. We'll use the screws as a mechanical fixing and an adhesive as a secondary fixing. And then once that's on, we're going to use the supplied spack screws. Make sure that the torque settings on your, your driver are correct. But the spack screws are good screws and they can actually pull through the aluminium if it's too high. get the inlay back into the nose I need to slide it into this corner but if I take the topping off this tape it's going to grab instantly is what I'm going to do is just cut this tape and I'm going to keep these two bits on that's going to allow me to slide the inlay into that point as this is an internal there's no way that that inlay can actually spring back out again Remove the topping of the tape. Take the inlay and I'll put it into the groove just slide that into position. Make sure the under edge is nicely into that recess. Now that the inlay is in position, it just means I can fit the main bulk of this step now. Mm -hmm. 